I just got this new little oscilloscope and I'm not even sure how to pronounce the name Finerci 138 Pro and it's supposed to be pretty much like this 138 except that as you can see this is AC powered this is this is battery powered or has a battery option uh, it came with a charge cable it is a USB-C it also I also got the model that has the uh, probe with it and that's nice uh, don't have to go out and try to find one uh, what else is uh, interesting this one is pretty much totally auto it's missing these switches over here it has a an equivalent set of these switches but not all of them so I thought I would do a comparison there are a lot of people already done a review on this but I wanted to compare it to my old one and kind of see what it would do and what it won't do okay so let's do that first let's take a look around and see what we got going the screen is right here it's approximately the same size as the other one but again we'll do a comparison in a moment it has these buttons across the front so it has auto change add dis and okay and i found these two are plus and minus uh they, they yeah they will increment and decrement the different functions as you're going around on it let's look at the back side over here we have the reset and there's a switch right there momentary switch you push in there's the usb connector so it's usb c right there on off switch right there on the other side this is a little harder to see because they just have these are they're labeling these points on the board so up here we have the pwm and there's yeah there's just a hole in the board right there they did give me this pin header to solder in there if i wanted to do that uh, these others are labeled uh, but not very clearly you can't really see them from this side and then the final pin here would be a ground so this is the pulse width modulation and this is the ground for it and then here we have ground clock um, SWD so these are obviously the serial data connections and then a 5 volt this is labeled 5 volt on the board but it's labeled 3.3 volts here so kind of interesting on this side nothing to see and on this side is the BNC connector so okay so that is a view of the uh, device now we'll bring in the other one and we will make the comparisons let's start our comparison I have both of these hooked up to the PWM output on this so the waves should be theoretically exactly the same this one's a little less stable than this one but you know it's still within range I have started here you can barely see this this is the offset over here and it's that arrow right there which is in blue this one I think that little gold rim is in the way so uh, I can barely see it just right there but yes okay so it's now active you can move that up and down I'll do it on this one over here by pushing and holding this so we can change the offset on there like that this one has the same function uh, I push here it goes up push here it goes down okay so they're back to the same so that's offset uh, if i want to change on this one it's select on this one i pick change and so now this one has moved to the voltage and this one has moved to x1 and you may say why is that this and you change the voltage here with these buttons this one you change the voltage over here at this switch i can show you there we go so it's changing there uh, and this one you change here like that so let's get these synced back up again now you notice it didn't go to the x1 here and here it's on the x1 and that's for the probe so it's either x1 or x10 this one i cannot figure out how to do it uh, it does it when i push the auto button it automatically selects one i haven't found a manual override for that yet i'm not sure if there is one or not okay so uh, this one again is done with the switches let's keep going on around so now they're both on the time base 200 uh, microseconds 200 microseconds you change that here like that 
and you change this one here like that. And what's interesting is this is the plus and this is the minus. And on this one, this is the plus and this is the minus. So I have to, I keep, have to keep remembering that. Okay, so the next thing we do is we punch the button. And instead of going to the uh, AC like here, this one skips it because the AC is controlled with this switch. And this one is controlled through these buttons. Um, that's on stop. Get that back so it's normal. This is the trigger right here. And we will now move this to the trigger. So there, that arrow is now blue. Uh, so that sets the trigger level up and down, up and down. We'll select again. And it goes to auto. This goes to auto. So this has different ranges. They have the same ranges. Okay, back to auto. So the next thing, when we push this, this turn blue right there, hit the right button, and that turn blue right there. That's either trigger rising or trigger falling on these. Okay, change again. So this is the PWM out, and this is the duty cycle, duty cycle. So they're the same. And this is the frequency and frequency. And again, these are set with buttons on both cases. And then finally, push this again, push this again, and they go off. And then we push it, and it's back here. Push it, and it takes twice, and I'm back here. Okay, so that is pretty much it, uh, the differences between these two. I, I, frankly, I really like this, the fact that I can pick this up, put it in my pocket. Um, there is a note in the instructions that say that if you're going to hook this to higher voltage, don't touch any of the metallic parts. And to that end, yeah, I got this case, as I think I mentioned earlier. But otherwise, I mean, this, you have to hook up to power. This has a battery. Um, you know, they both have, have the same features all the way around. The only thing I can't figure out is how to manually change this one. Uh, but... Um, yeah, uh, this one has the old USB, this one has USB-C, this one has a trigger light, this one I haven't found one anywhere. Yeah, maybe if I turned out the lights I would see it pulsing somewhere underneath the boards, but um, yeah, overall I really like this. I think I'll be keeping this one and giving this one away. It's, uh, yeah, just because this, this will do everything I need to do, especially for my videoing where I need a small space. Okay, well, I hope you found that useful and interesting in your home electronics work.